During this video, I'm going to show you the process of rendering a rather large scene in Maya 6.5 on an SGI Tesra. So I'm going to go ahead and open Maya 6.5. And there she comes up. I'm going to open the scene that I want to render. It's going to take a while to load as it's a rather large file. And there she is. And just before I start with the process of rendering the scene, I'm just going to articulate her for you quickly. Okay, to give you an idea as to how larger scene you can actually render in this machine. The only problem I have heard with this is that there's no way you be able to animate a scene like this. As you'll see later on in the video, it probably takes about 20 minutes to render a single frame. So to be able to animate something in real time is just not going to be possible on a machine like a Tesla. I'm going to go ahead and reload the file just to get it the way I want it. Okay, and I'm going to go through the rendering settings that I've set with you. Okay, under the common settings, the image format that I'm rendering to is a Windows bitmap format. The renderable objects, all the objects in the scene are going to be rendered. The camera, it's the perspective view. The resolution is set to HD, which is 1080, with a width of 1920 and a height of 1080. Okay, the software that I'm going to be using for the rendering of the scene is Maya software, so I'm going to go through the Maya software settings with you. The anti-aliasing quality, its production quality, and the edge anti-aliasing quality is the highest quality. The multi-pixel filtering that I'm making use of is the triangular filter, and it is making use of a pixel width of 2x2. Two as for ray tracing, I've enabled ray tracing and all the settings are set to the highest quality. When it comes to memory and performance options, the thing to note here, the most important thing is that all available CPUs are enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and render the scene. Okay, and just to give you an idea of how long it's going to take, I'm going to bring the X clock forward as well as the system performance overview. At this point, the system is preparing to render the scene. You can see that all processes are at max at the moment. And as soon as the scene starts to render, the screen will turn blue. Okay, the rendering process has now started. Now let the process run at normal speed for a while, and from there I'll then speed it up to save you the pain of having to sit and watch this render in real time. Now that the rendering is complete, I'm going to take you through the process that I go through in order to get the image from my Tesla onto my Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and close Maya. My... 
Okay, I've got the images folder on my desktop. I'm just going to confirm that the image has been saved. And there it is. I'm going to open up my network file system, which links directly to my Mac, and I'm going to copy the image across. Okay, from here I'm going to switch over to the Mac. First things first, I'm going to change the aspect ratio on the screen. And switch over. Okay, that was a previous image. So what I'm going to do is open up the Irix folder, which links to the Tezra, and click on the image that I've just rendered. The first thing that you'll notice is that there's a quite a difference in contrast and um, exposure setting when it comes from the Tezra to the Mac. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of adjustments. I'm going to go to Tools, Adjust Color, set the exposure appropriately, as well as shadows, to get it to a point where it looks nice enough to be shown on irix.net. Okay, so there the saved image is. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to go to Imgur and upload the image. so that it can then be posted on rx.net. Meantime, I'll open rx.net. Go to Art and Rendering. And I'm going to update the post that I've got. So what I'll do is edit it, quick edit. I'll delete the image that is there. Okay, it's almost uploaded. And there it is. So what I then do is copy the link and paste that into rx.net, save the changes, and there the newly rendered images.